Calculating your BMI is dumb. Your doctor should stop doing it immediately, and so should you. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I've been weighing and measuring people for over 20 years. And I used to be a strong proponent of the BMI measurements. But the more I looked into this, the more I've discovered how ridiculous it is. The BMI measurement discovered hundreds of years ago was never intended to be used on individual patients. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed to be used at a population level to look at the weight and the height of tens of thousands of people, the people of an entire country, of an entire region. That's what it was used for by insurance companies. Never should doctors have adopted it as a way to talk about an individual person's weight and height. If you're very short, if you're very tall, if you're very muscular, if you're very lean, then your BMI is going to show an unhealthy number that's going to worry you going to cause your doctor to talk to you about something that shouldn't even be talked about to start with. There's a much better way to measure your overall metabolic health with a tape measure, but BMI ain't it. The thing that you and your doctor should be worried about is your waist to height ratio. This is a very simple thing for you to measure at home or for your doctor to measure in the clinic. It takes only slightly longer than it does for your doctor to weigh you and see how tall you are. What you're going to do is measure your waist. And when I say waist, men, I don't mean where you put your belt. I mean the biggest part of your abdomen. Yeah, the place you don't want to measure, that's where you're going to measure. Then you're going to divide that by your height in the same units of measurement. So either centimeters, centimeters, or inches, inches. And then that number, when you do that division problem, that's your waist to height ratio. Now, here's a chart. You want your waist to height ratio to be about 0.5, give or take. If it's much more than that, then you're metabolically unhealthy. You've got abdominal fat, visceral fat that you should not have that is increasing your risk of developing a heart attack or a stroke. Now, the vast majority of waist-to-height ratio has been done on people whose waist-to-height ratio is significantly above 0.5. There's been very little research on whether it's healthy if your waist-to-height ratio is much below 0.5. Very little research. And so I don't think we currently know if your waist-to-height ratio is quite a bit below 0.5. Is that dangerous? Is that unhealthy? I don't think we know the answer to that. My guess is it's probably not unhealthy at all, but you definitely want it to be under 0.53 0.53 for the vast majority of men and women, regardless of your ethnicity, regardless of your height, regardless of how much muscle you hold, or whether you're big boned or not. Down in the show notes below, I included a bunch of links to research where you can read more about this, and also a waist to height ratio calculator where you can take your measurements and then put those into the calculators. It'll tell you right where you fall on the scale. If your waist to height ratio is significantly above 0.5, you've got some work to do, and you can move your waist to height ratio in the right direction by following a proper human diet. Down in the show notes is also a link to my free proper human diet guide. Book. Hope this video helps. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.